the suffering is important because you think of it as something that cannot be turned off by itself. So we basically think of suffering as something that is not the choice of the one who suffers, because why would you want to suffer, right? So it's something that the universe does to you, and we have to change the conditions of the universe in which you are in so you don't suffer. But what we forget about this, that suffering is an evolutionary adaptation. It's created to make you jump through all these hoops in order to eat more and eat others, right? It's a very perverse thing. And you can turn off the suffering. As soon as you become conscious enough and awake enough, you can deal with it and get rid of your suffering. At some point in your mental development, suffering becomes a choice. So you could think, okay, one thing that we want to do is we want to wake up as many organisms as possible to give them that choice, to exactly. give them agency over their suffering. This will then open another Pandora's box of ethical conundrums. Maybe we don't need to make these decisions right now, right here, right? We can basically operate in a framework where we agree with our loved ones about shared purposes and shared systems of meanings and want to operate within those. 